Um, I decided to become vegan against my will um, when I had my leg chopped off in 93 by a policeman. And I said, what are you talking about? And she said, you've got to go vegan. And I was like, vegan schmegan? Are you mad? Where are they going to get me protein from, you know? Um, I was like everyone else, you know, vegans can't get enough protein. I had no idea. Um, my sister had been vegetarian since she was 15, so she was way ahead of the game on me. And um, my girlfriend said, no, I've cured myself of breast cancer. I said, oh, come on, that must have just been local. She said, no, honestly, I totally wiped out all meat and dairy and I'm healed and she's still alive today, 26 years. She put me on a raw, plant-based diet. And within three, le three weeks, my whole leg closed, healed. I felt amazing. Then I ran down to get a leg made up at the local orthopedic place. And they said, I'm sorry, it's not like that. It takes a few weeks. And I was like, then I thought, God, I really miss a nice piece of fish and I really miss a bit of gammon on my Sunday roast. Um, so I started developing things that tasted like fish and tasted like gammon. And uh, because at the time, most things tasted like cardboard that were vegetarian. You see here, there's bacon, vegan bacon, vegan mince, vegan burgers, vegan beef, vegan dough, vegan sausages, vegan chicken. Falafel, fish fingers, fish steaks, gammon, beef, because I love my Sunday roasts. We even do like a celebration roast here. And then I did patties and we did slices, chorizo, pepperoni, ham, seven cheeses down the bottom here. Edam, hard style, mozzarella, red cheddar. We've even got soya free for people that listen to the dairy. BS and say that men are going to grow boobs if they have soya. So men that don't want boobs, just go for the soya free one.